We will continue our uh, meditation on the story of the Annunciation, which is you find in the book of Luke. We've been looking at this for the past couple of weeks now. Luke chapter 1. I'm going to read the text because every time we start, we'll start with the text. Luke chapter 1, beginning from verse 26 onwards. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city in Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of a salutation this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, bear a son, you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for, the, for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age. And she who has been called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, the bond slave of the Lord, may it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Praise God. For the past uh, couple of weeks, we, will pass it, we are looking at this passage. And I told you, I'm not bringing sermons from here. Basically, these are some of the thoughts that we are pondering over. Our focus actually this morning is Mary. You know, we, we live in a time where there's all kinds of things going on in the name of Mary. There are people who pray to her, worship, or we can call it something similar to that. So, and on the other side of this, on the other side of the spectrum of people who don't say anything, people don't even uh, give due respect. That's also I feel sometimes. We need to be balanced. She was a wonderful woman. Amen. And I want us to really understand, just look at her, this, this, this young person. I said she's probably 14 years of age. Think about the challenges that she had to face in bringing the Son of God into this world. The law of Moses, what the people are going to say, the shame and the guilt that she may have to carry for a very long time. And one thing that we saw last week, that she was a very humble spirit person. Very humble and poor in spirit. Praise God. Praise God. And we said, she's in, in, from looking at from every side. Say the angel bypassed Judea. Angel came to Galilee. Angel bypassed the temple. Jerusalem. And came to a small obscure village called Nazareth. And people would say, nothing good is going to come from Nazareth. Nazareth in the Uridan Mevarilla. 
ആരും അറിയാത്തൊരു സ്ഥലം മലയാള ഭാഷ പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഓണം കയറാൻ പോല ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്ലേസ് നോ ബഡി കെയർസ് ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് മിക്സ് പീപ്പിൾ ലീവ് people from all kinds of walks of life people live roman soldiers are there gentiles live in that place also but that's where angel comes and she was not highly educated person but she memorized what she what she heard in the synagogue very pious but very humble and i said bible always says that blessed are the poor in spirit there is a kingdom atma vil dandrayor bhagyavan mar amen now the angel comes and tells her kruba le pichavale she is highly favored one look at chapter 1 verse 28 you read that so she is recipient of a special blessings from god she has received or experienced god's undeserved unmerited grace in a special way devathinte kruba pratyeka reethil anubhavichavul ayirunnu mariya amen hallelujah but you need to understand something here this is very careful we have to be very careful just because she received this favor from the lord this does not change who mary is or give her a status beyond other people okay e devathinte favor labichathu konde kurba labichathu konde mariya aarayirunnu enna avasthakke oru maatram sambhavikkunnilla mattullavarekkal കൂടിയ ഏതോ ഒരു സ്ഥാനത്തിന് പദവിക്ക് തനിക്ക് താൻ അർഹയാകുന്നു എന്നും അർത്ഥമില്ല ഷീ സിംപ്ലി റിസീവ്ഡ് ഫേവർ ഫ്രം ദ ലോഡ് ഷീ റിസീവ് ഗ്രേസ് ഫ്രം ദ ലോഡ് സി ഗോഡ് ഷി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് ഷി വാസ് സിംഗിൾ ഷി വാസ് സിംഗിൾ ഔട്ട് ആസ് എ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെന്റ് ഹും ഗോഡ് ചൂസസ് ടു യൂസ് ഇൻ ഹിസ് ഗ്രേഷ്യസ് plan of salvation devathinte veendadupinte paddhathiyude poorthigaranathilai visheshal terenjadukkapetta oru manavathram aayirunnu mariya amen very special instrument god has chosen to complete his plan of salvation praise god so angel said to her he came to her and said greetings O favored one the lord is with you you know there are different translations as you read it kurba lebichavle ninakka vandanam kartava ninnodu kooda yunda so listen here angel is actually telling her three things moonu kaaryangal ivide mariyodu doodan parayya praise god each of these things listen very carefully each of these things were certainly true of mary who had a unique privilege among any person ever lived okay bumi divichu nara kaattil valare pratheyamaya oru avastha thanikku undayirunnu that she was highly favored the lord was with her and she was blessed three things she was highly favored pratyagamaayi deiva prasadam lebichala kurba lebichavala amen the lord was with her and she was blessed avala anigarikapettavala but this is also true of every believer in christ can i hear an amen then yes we are highly favored as mary was can i amen to that yes see we have all the time to talk to katandi katandi how are you i'm blessed and highly favored 
So that's one of the lines she always uses. I'm blessed and highly favored. Interesting. Listen here in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 6. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. Amen. Avande priyanayavinil namukku saujanyavai nalgiya thande kruba mahatvathinte pugachekkai snehathil namale munniyimikkeyum cheyidullo. We have received we are the recipients of God's Glorious grace. Hallelujah. In the day, they were in the Kuruveli, whichever Elam, Karangal Yerte, they were in the Stopfran Jede. You are here because you are a recipient of the grace of God. Hallelujah. You are here because of the grace of God. They were in the Kuruvelio. I'm like a condo in the day. We are here because we received the grace of God. Every child, it's through Jesus Christ, we all have received the grace of God. Amen. Then the angel also told her, The Lord is with you. They even the order, who they look. In Matthew 28, verse 20 says that he said, Teach these things to the disciples, obey all the commands I've given you, and be sure of this I am with you always even to the end of the age nano loga avasana tholam ella naalum ningalodu kooda undu i am with you always hallelujah the promise is also ours this morning the lord is with us hallelujah whatever the circumstances you are going through the air is out the poyalu the presence of the lord is with you the lord will walk with you the lord will hold your hands and walk with you he will carry you Hallelujah! His presence is here. Kuru bale bichavirum kartau kuda verne aalagalu. That's the reason this journey is called walking with God. Ado onda lo namle dene bolike na yuva thodu gude na dakke gya. The Lord is with us also. Angel told her, "You are blessed. We are also blessed." Amen. Bible says here in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, All praise to God, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Amen. Swargatle sagala apni anigrahatalam namme Christu vil anigrahitirikinna namda kartava yeshi Christu undayum pidau maivan vartha pettavan hallelujah the Lord has blessed you with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms heavenly places you are blessed turn to your neighbor and say I'm blessed praise God hallelujah we are blessed we are blessed with not little things. Bible says we are blessed with <coughs> every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Sorgatle sakela Malayalathil another word called shagala nolundu. You be careful what you say. Shagala means little. Sagala means okay. Just one letter makes all the difference, right? Every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Praise God. You also receive the grace of God. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. And you are also blessed with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Okay. Let's come back to that greetings. You have found favor with God. You will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son so that's the focus so the focus was not mary but the focus was the son praise god hallelujah and she used to be or they need to name him as jesus jesus was a common name there were a lot of people who had the name jesus there so we have People like Bar Jesus. So we have all, Jesus was a very common name those days. But this is special. He is Jesus the Christ. Amen. Yeshu Christua. He is a promised Messiah. 
Amen? So the son was unmistakably identified as the Messiah predicted by the Old Testament. Pernah ni betul pernah jadi tak? Ama siha ya ana Maria itu udah tertulis ni kan bodoh. Amen. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Amen. You know, my name is Savikum. I'm an Asian. The world will come and will you and Agum? Atinu the Putranda. Berikir padu kertawa ay dayum, amindah pidaw aya, dawi itu le simhas tanam awenah, kodukum. Okay. Now, I told you that there are a lot of people in the world probably don't read scripture for what it is. So some of them have made a mistake of. Exalting Mary to a divine status. I told you, I for somebody who respect Mary, so I'm not saying anything disrespectful here this morning. I respect that wonderful lady. All right. So the temptation to attribute divine status to Mary and worship her was from the beginning. Even when Jesus was walking on this earth, this is not a new thing. Maria ke, a divya pragrudi kudutta arathi kyu anulla oru pralobhanam Yeshu ne karthane ondaru. This is nothing new. This is nothing that you observe. Luke chapter eleven verse twenty-seven. As you read, it goes. While he was saying all this, Jesus was talking, giving tremendous teaching. As you read the the preceding verses, and umbelo bhangla ko aikem bham kartha utri kaaring lagu parayi dunlo. He's talking about a devil being cast out, and you don't, you know, and and then it was all cleansed and good, but nothing was there in the place. So the demon went out, and then come back with seven and enters into the. So when when he said all these things, look at what this woman said. He was saying all this. A woman shouted from the crowd, "God bless the one who gave you birth and the nursed you as a child." Listen to that. इधर बारा यूं बोल पुरिशार तो उस त्री अपन उड़ निन्ने चुमन्ना उधर एवं नी गुड़िच्छ मुले यूं भाग्य उलावा इन्ना पार्ने. So you see this tendency right from the very beginning when Jesus was still on earth. We are not sure. What was really going on in the head of this woman when she said these things? She was probably excited about the wisdom that Jesus was exhibiting. Kathavindya jnana ngandha madhi varana istri parayana ninne chumanna udaru ne gurache mureyum bhagyam ulladu. Okay. Bless, God bless the one who gave you birth and nurse you as a child. This is another translation here. See, there is something with human heart. Manisha Kradayatan Yoru Prasanam Namu Manasrakan Yorichar. We have a tendency within us, human heart has a tendency to make idols of anything they can. Okay? Anything they can easily progress from. Considering the womb blessed by Jesus' presence, Yeshu Christu in the Sanitya Tal, Anigrahida Maya Agar Pavatrate. The truth is, Agar Pavatram, Kasta in the Sanitya Tal, Anigrahika Padadaniya. Amen. That was blessed by the presence of Jesus. And that other, Yendu Gondo, Angani or Anigrahida Sanitya Tal. Yogya maya dah irungu yang wisasikuan, ni nolai alur ke budimu tidak. It's very easy to say for people to just just to just just to make idol of anything they can. Easily progressing from considering womb blessed by the presence of Jesus into saying that that womb was worthy of it. That's a problem. You can say that womb was blessed by the presence of Jesus. We say amen to that, right? 
But when you say that womb was worthy of receiving the son, we have a problem. That's where we have to really make the distinction. So Jesus understood what this woman was trying to say. He understood the errors that she was going into, the erroneous line of thinking by the woman. He responded. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The most important thing is those who listen the word of God and obey the word of God, they are blessed. Praise God, hallelujah. Well, Jesus was trying to protect the blessedness of Mary. He was also protecting us from idol worship. Wrong worship. See, Jesus' statement is very clear. Obey the word of Jesus. Those who listen to his word will be blessed. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this blessedness is not in bearing the son. Putrane. It is believing the Son. It is not caring for the Word of God made flesh, but in keeping the Word's Word. Hallelujah. You listen to the word of the word. Amen. The word became flesh. Hallelujah. That's the words of Jesus. Jesus, it is those who obey the word of the word will be blessed. Hallelujah. But true fact is actually she is blessed by the presence of God. She is blessed by the opportunity. All those things are good. But the common thing that we need to understand is actually we are blessed when we obey the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, in biblical canon, nowhere it teaches that Mary was sinless. She was not immaculately conceived. I'm saying this because people need to be clear from God's word. Bible canonil. Oradatum. E. Kandigamariam. Pabadehidiyanam no. Vishitha garbadharanam. Alangil jenma pabadehida garbadharanam de kuricho. Oradatum barayanila. You show it from scripture. I believe it. It is not in the scripture. So God's people need to be very careful as you study, as you understand. You know, if you were to ask her, if you can ask her, Maria told her, Namaka Jodikan, Okanondangil, Mariam, Namorodinga Varayam. She would say like this I was brought forth in iniquity. Ambatana Sangirtanam, Koti Rejuarim. I was brought forth in iniquity. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Iranian Agartia Tiluruai, Pavatli and the Amma, Yene Garpam Darichu. That's what she will tell you. And in spite of all those things, I still receive the grace of God, the unmerited favor of God. I want to thank you, God, for choosing me to bring your son to this earth. That's called grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, Please understand, the means of God's favor on Mary was unmerited. Maria Kilevicha Deiva Prasadam Deiva Kruba Arhikyatta Dairnu. Ad Arhikya Dairnu in the Varayambolana Namala Trakidatana. Praise God. Namala Pur Bible Varayil Vedos, we have to change the word of God. Bible says, 
all have sinned and fell short of the glory of god manushya gulathil parandu vina sagale aalukalum paapam cheyidu oru pole daiva tejas illatha varai thoru every one born in human family adam's family born with original sin the only person that born through that family was without the sin was jesus christ Hallelujah because he didn't come through because a man and a woman met together or purushan and sthree ingal orumich chernadu kondalla yesu undayidu he was miraculously born he was conceived by the overshadowing of the holy spirit parishuthaathmaavala janmam eduthukonde jesus did not carry that original sin but every other person including mary had the original sin hallelujah but she was blessed the greatest blessing she received was not her vocational calling as the mother of jesus but that her child saved her from damning sins that could bring her to god amen തനിക്കുള്ള ഏറ്റവും വലിയ അനുഗ്രഹം എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തന്റെ പാപത്തിൽ നിന്നും തന്നെയും തന്റെ മകൻ രക്ഷിച്ച് തന്റെ മകനാണ് തന്നെ കർത്താവിനോട് അടുപ്പിച്ചത് പത്രോസ് പറയുന്നു ക്രിസ്തു നമ്മെ ദൈവത്തോട് അടുപ്പിക്കേണ്ടതിന് നീതിവാനായി നീതി കെട്ടവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പാപന്ന് വെത്ത ഒരിക്കൽ കഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു ജഡത്തിൽ മരണശേഷി ഏൽക്കുകയും ആത്മാവിൽ ജീവിക്കപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്തു യെസ് വി വെ ബ്രോട്ട് ഫോർ ടു ഗോൾ ക്ലോസ് ടു ഗോൾ ത്രൂ ദ സൺ ജീസസ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് ഡെത്ത് ഓൺ ദ ക്രോസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ബ്ലെസ്സിങ് വി എൻജോയ് ഏമൻ മാത്യു ചാപ്റ്റർ 121 സേസ് she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name jesus because he will save his people from their sins hallelujah avan oru magane avan thande janathe avrude paavangalil ninnu രക്ഷിപ്പാൻ ഇരിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് നീ അവൻ എന്ത് വിളിക്കണം യേശു അന്ന് പേർ വിളിക്കണം ഹാലേലൂയ ഹി വിൽ സേവ് ഹിസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം देयर സിൻ ഹാലേലൂയ you know there are churches that starts their prayer saying hail mary full of grace krupa niranja marime ninakku vandanam samadhanam nokku parai is something wrong with that in a sense listen mary was full of grace so is the believer praise god ആ പ്രിയ സ്ത്രീക്ക് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കുറുബ ലഭിച്ചു ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് ഓരോരുത്തർക്ക് വന്നുണ്ട് വി ഓൾസോ റിസീവ് ദ ഗ്രേസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് സി മേരീസ് ഗ്രേസ് ലെസൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ തിയോളജിക്കലി മേരീസ് ഗ്രേസ് വാസ് റിസീവ്ഡ് ഗ്രേസ് നോട്ട് ടു ഗീവ് ഗ്രേസ് ടു അതേഴ്സ് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചോണം ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് തിങ് മേരീസ് ഗ്രേസ് വാസ് റിസീവ്ഡ് ഗ്രേസ് ബട്ട് it is not to give grace to other people mariyakku lebicha kuruba mariyakku kittiyad lebicha kurubaya devathil ninn lebi adond avana kuruba lebicha vale nenakka but when translation comes instead of kuruba lebicha vale kuruba naranja vale nu maru okay and there are probably reasons for it favored one with the vulgate jerome's Vulgate, when it translated that particular phrase, that sentence, they translated it as, Hail Mary, full of grace. And uh, translated. There are Bible believers, uh, the scholars, teachers believe that this translation is good if we see Mary is the recipient of God's grace, not the giver of God's grace. കർത്താവിൻ്റെ കുറുബയുടെ ദാനം അനുഭവിച്ച ആൾ എന്ന നിറയിൽ നമ്മൾ ആ അർത്ഥം എടുക്കുന്നെങ്കിൽ അതിന് ഇറ്റ്സ് മീനിങ് ഫുൾ ഇ സംബഡി ഹു ഗിവ്സ് ക്രൈസ് ദെൻ വി ഹാവ് എ കോൺട്രഡിക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് എ സ്ക്രിപ്റ്റർ ഓക്കെ സോ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ദർ ഇസ് ഓൺലി വൺ മീഡിയേറ്റർ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ബൈബിൾ എ മെൻ ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് മെതി ചാപ്റ്റർ ടു വേഴ്സ് ഫൈവ് ഫോർ ദർ ഈസ് വൺ ഗോഡ് there is one mediator between god and men the man christ 
Jesus. Can you hear an amen to that? Devam Uruvanalo, Devatinu Manishirku Madhyastan, Uruvandane, Eshu Matram. Only Jesus is the mediator. Amen. We recognize other people, we respect other people, we respect their place in history, we respect their place in the salvation story. But there is only one mediator between God and man. According to this book that I hold in my hand, He Pustagam Barayinu, Devatinu Manishirku Matthya. Only one mediator, Jesus Christ. Can I hear an amen? A shout of praise. Hallelujah. You know, this, this is the Vulgate or the Latin translation of the Greek Bible. Okay. They translated it as Hail Mary, full of grace. A scholar by the name Raymond Brown, he's an acknowledged. Dean of Catholic New Testament scholar. He agreed, saying that full of grace, Kruba Naranyavale, is too strong rendering for rendering. For Luke wanted to say this, if Luke wanted to say this, he would have used the phrase he employed in Acts chapter 6, verse 8, when he described Stephen as full of grace. But Stephen, full of grace and power. That word is not used there. He said, therefore, Kurban Ranyavale Yenula A rendering is not actually, it's a, it's, it's, it's a strong use. He's a Catholic scholar. Luke says, Hail thou art highly favored. Vulgate translation, this is, they say it's probably an inaccurate rendering. Rather, it really means that having been much graced by God. And what else? They were told, Tharalam, Kruba, Lepika, Patavale, Nenaka, Vandanam. You understand? Yeah, they were told, Tharalam, Kruba, Lepika, Patavale, Nenaka, Vandanam. Amen. Hallelujah. Having been much graced by God, greetings. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed are thou among women praise god so mary has every gift listen very carefully in the fifth through 15th century in europe that's called the medieval times okay it's called the medieval times e medieval times in anjam century model panja century vare this is again brown this catholic scholar notes that vulgate faulty translation e vulgate nadathiya because of this poor translation gave rise to the medieval idea that Mary has every gift not only spiritual but secular even above those given to angels so Secular idol guiding alone, I don't know. Even above those given, do then mark a good at the Danangla Kalkudia Danangal Maria Gailon Dion. This is the thought during the medieval, medieval times based on Jerome's translation of this particular phrase. Okay, thus giving rise to the idea of Mary being the dispenser of grace, refu resulting in prayers being offered to her. Listen to that. I don't want to say 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 that. Just pray and she will give you grace. So, and the setting prayers being off. So people started praying to her. This happened during the medieval times. I'm talking from history here. Thus, ultimate extension of this thinking came on December 8, 1854. When Pius the Ninth 
declare the doctrine of immaculate conception. So, Pius Sombadamin, December 8th, 1854, Maria de Genma Pabarahi de Garpadarna de Kurchil declared it, teaching that, that from the first moment her, her conception, Maria, Maria de Amed Udratrundaumbol, the Blessed Virgin Mary was, by the singular grace and privilege of Almighty God, and in view of merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, kept free from stain of original sin. Manishanda Pabam Janma Babatil Nana Daivatinda Vishashal Krube Adam Yeshi Kristu in the Krube Adam Maria Janicha Potana Janma Babatil and Maria and Dedu Suchichu is not found in the scripture. It's not found in the scripture. She was humanly speaking like any one of us sitting here. She was godly. She was humble in spirit. She received special favor from the Lord. Hallelujah. So, but at the same time, when I say this, I said, she does not deserve worship. She is not a mediator. People need to understand that. You're not to pray to her, but we are to respect her. She deserves respect. Okay? So listen, the same time, Virgin Mary is in fact the most blessed among the women, blessed woman, and therefore the blessed Virgin Mary is actually a fitting designation for her. Pumila, millions of strigal and item, billions of strigal author and item, or is strikim atrame, he tamburana, eshu krasuna, pumil, janmangurkun, pagi undailu, ari dil turchi item, or anigrega patola. She is blessed that she has the privilege of bringing Christ into this world. She is blessed in that sense. Praise God. It's not only really that. She herself, the, you know, this whole idea of blessed Mary is also coming from Mary's own self-bestowed beatitude in her magnificent. Maria than never in the Pagan law. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. Everyone will say, I am blessed. Yes, Mary, you are blessed. Among all the women, all the millions of women in the world, you were chosen to bring the Son of God to this earth. Yes, you are blessed. We respect you for that. See, that's a very balanced understanding about who Mary is. Praise God. See, this is, this is an issue because this issue is here. Namakarya, as you read the scripture, we understand Mary and Joseph, after the birth of Jesus, they came together. They had other sons and daughters. They had other sons and daughters. People say, Oh, your brothers are here. Jude is a brother of Jesus. There were other people. Oh, we know their sisters. They're all with us here. But since this whole idea of immaculate conception, what people are trying to say is, all the brothers in the world, you know, the English, the Mary has other, that is talking, that word is also used for cousins. Why do you have to go all this way? When I say my brother, that doesn't mean my, my cousin. I have two brothers living in Dallas. They're not my cousins, they're my brothers. Just because the word brother can be used for cousins, distant cousins, why do you have to go all the way? It's because of this particular thing. Read scripture. Bible is very clear. Amen. There's only one mediator. Amen. I don't have to say pray to anybody here or so and so. I pray to him 21 days. You pray to him. This, don't believe all those things. 
Don't believe all those things. Go to the Lord. Nanja Tadija Jar Kartavi. And Lord Karanadu Anadu and the Vara. Just tell your Jesus, Lord, mercy upon me. The Lord will show you mercy and grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. She was a recipient of the divine favor. They got the Kruba, Prida Levicholai. Luther. Martin Luther praises her. This is interesting. I quote for you. Oh Mary, you are blessed. You have a gracious God. No woman has ever lived on earth to whom God has shown such a grace. You are the crown of them all. This is Martin Luther says. I translate for you. Oh Mary, Maria, ni pagyavadiyana. Krubalu ayur dayon na nakunda. ഇത്രയധികം കൃപലവി കാണിച്ച ഒരു സ്ത്രീ ലോകത്തിൽ ജീവിച്ചിരുന്നിട്ടില്ല അവരുടെ ഇടയിൽ നീ ഒരു കിരീടം തന്നെയാണ് യെസ് ഐ ഡോ ഹാവ് എ പ്രോബ്ലം വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റിയലി ട്രൂ ഷീ ഈസ് പ്ലസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഗാഡ് ബൈ പ്ലാസ് ജുരിയ ഗാഡ് ബൈ പ്ലാസ് ജെറൂസലം ഗാഡ് ബൈ പ്ലാസ് ടെമ്പിൾ ഹി കെയിം ടു എ ഡിസ്പൈസ് കൺട്രി ടു എ ഡിസ്പൈസ് പ്ലേസ് to city a, a town to a humble woman she is certainly blessed and again here put all out then the angel said the second part says that your divinely favored you know is it uh, your divinely favored because the lord is with you devam ninnode kude undu amen So this is the most important thing. So they were saying it that in the Shakti or the Tanga Charadu Ole Parayani Matthan the Pakhtan Maru Jeevatthu Lula Kadandu Oyengirum Mariyai Lairnu Adin the Shakti Eriya Or the Pariyavasana Undayad Deivam Avalodu Kodi Undayad This, you know this This, this power of God This dynamic power of God God's presence which was which runs like a golden thread in the lives of great saints in the old testament in history and in mary it reached its glorious culmination the lord was with her deva sanithyam etum shaktamaita and because the power of the most high and the presence of the holy spirit will overshadow you hallelujah mary was humble and poor in spirit i i i felt like sh- clarifying some of these things because i know it might push some wrong buttons but i felt like we need to really understand what scripture says amen only one person worthy of worship is jesus christ aaradhanakku yogyade ange njangal aaradhichirunu hallelujah he deserves worship because he is the only one who came and died for us on the cross of calvary he deserves worship amen there's another observation that i see in verse 29 chapter 1 verse 29 confused and disturbed mary tried to think what the angel could mean as one translation another one but she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of a greetings did my this might be malayalam thing avan avana vaakku kettittu pramichu endoru vandanam enna vicharichu this is the greetings okay mary was deeply troubled over the words of the angel bewildered over what this may mean to her another thing that you see in her is actually mary was very reflective she was meditative she was open to the word and the works of god maria valare chindamagnayum thyana niradiyum devathinte vajanathodum devathinte pravartigalodum furanna oru manasu ullavalayirunnu just i want you to think about that she had she took time to think about it what this could really mean is in the arthamanda what this really mean she started pondering about it she started thinking about it now i want you to understand she is standing in the presence of 
a mighty angel. I don't know what he was wearing. We always see them probably with dazzling white. The angels, appearance of an angel is not an easy thing to handle. John couldn't handle it, so he just fell down. It's not an easy thing. And the, listen to the announcement. But in the midst of all those things, she's not looking at the angels being beautiful like this. No, no. She is not paying attention to any of these things. She is pondering. She is thinking what this could really mean. Praise God. Mary is an example for you people. I tell you something. We need to learn some lesson from Mary. Don't look at, don't look at the color lights. That's not what we really need. When I'm talking about the color lights, I didn't bring my phone. Otherwise, there was a, uh, something that somebody sent it to me. It's said by one of the Baptist preachers. I don't exactly know how to quote this, but he said, the time has come. Time has come for us to Stop talking about big wisdom from the pulpit. Time has come to fire the drama team. Time has come to pull the plug of the color light. Time has come to drag the pulpit to the middle of the stage. Open the Bible. Let it out. Let it fly. Let it speak. It is time that Bible needs to come to the center of the church. It is time the Bible needs to be open. It's time to preach from the word of God. No compromise. Who should get the glory? Word of God. Word of God needs to be preached in a church. Otherwise church will die. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are not coming here for entertainment. We have come here to listen to the word of God. Let the word penetrate deep into your heart. Sharper than a two-edged sword. Let it penetrate into your heart. Only the word of God can make the difference. Whenever you get an opportunity, listen to the word of God. Open that Bible. Start reading. I encourage everyone here. I, I challenge people to read Bible. Open that Bible. Read it. Listen when people preach. Don't be meditating. That's a different meditation. I see people just nodding off. Just sleeping. They're tired here. It's a time to listen. If Mary in that 14 year old girl not being married. What an announcement it is. You're going to be pregnant. He's going to be mighty. He is the Holy One. The Son of the Most High. He is the Messiah. What an announcement. And who is standing? Gabriel is standing there. But she is not mesmerized by any of those things. She started pondering what kind of an announcement this is. That's exactly needs to happen. When you hear the word of God. Well, what is spirit talking to me this morning? Don't be passing on to your neighbor and say, that's good for him. It's good for Johnny. Not for me. Let the word examine you. Humble yourself. Tremble before the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The highly favored becomes greatly troubled. Just think, think about it. She's greatly troubled. What kind of a greetings? Hallelujah. She, the angel is promising her special audience with God. Could be even more confusing. 
Mary stirred these thoughts around her mind, trying to find a meaning to them and steps take in the light of them. This is exactly what she is doing. She is trying to figure out what this really means to me and what I should do in response to this. What a great example. Maria Gabriel is announcing the word of God. Yes or no? Gabriel is just, he is just a messenger angel. He is a communication angel telling what God told her, told him to tell her. And he is simply conveying it. Now what is she doing? What is in it for me? What is God trying to tell me? What does it require from me? Amen. Can you imagine if Mary were to say, I'm not interested. Thanks, Gabriel. I like the idea. Not me. You think Mary had no choice? Mary had a choice. She could say, I'm sorry, angel. I'm not married. Why don't you get married? Then I can be pregnant. Because you need to understand here, in the Jewish concept, popular Jewish concept, Messiah is not a divinity. Messiah is divine empowerment upon a person like judges. Israel Israel you know he will topple, he will throw away the Romans and he'll break all the shackles and the chains. He will rule over the nations. That's what they thought about. That's every person is thinking. They're not properly reading the scripture, but they're exactly what they're looking. They're not not looking for God becoming human. Because in their thinking, in their monotheistic thinking, there's no place for another God. And we have people who, who really get confused in this world. We have a lot of people who get confused with that. That's the reason we have people who say, oh, this Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all same person, his name is Jesus. It's not true. You read your Bible. We just sang today. We believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. We believe in triunity. You read Bible, there's a very clear, every time you read Bible, you see Father, Jesus talking to the Father, and Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit. Very distinct, they are distinct personalities. We don't believe in three gods, we believe in one God. But one God exists in three persons. It is difficult for some to understand. If it is difficult for you to understand one God exists in three persons, is it easy for you to understand God? God came in the womb of Mary without Joseph and Mary coming together. Science cannot endorse it. Science says, How is this going to be possible? It requires a man and a woman. That's the reason we call it miracle. Amen. Maria Udaratil or Purisha Sambarka Villade, Sorgatala Devatan Jadamakuan, Parishitan Bavana Kariangal. If you don't understand it, you will not understand God in three in one person. Hallelujah. 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 Mary is pondering. What is God trying to tell me? What does it take, require from me? Hallelujah. Mary was not a little 
village, land, village girl, as you really think about it, she kept pondering the meaning of the greetings. Young and inexperienced as she was, Mary was not flighty, shallow, young thing. Pariya sambadu varuanengilum, Maria, lola jithiyaya, unu nisara panna irunnila. She was serious. She started thinking, what does it take? Let me stop here. Mary could have said no. Sorry, Gabriel. Thanks for the offer. But you know what it means? I could be stoned to death. For all my life, people are going to you know, ridicule me and my son. I could be stoned to death. But Mary understood there's something greater. And the man at the cartilla, and the respect in a cartilla, who really or you carry what a cut up on the baki. I need to make myself available for the Son of God to come into this earth. Hallelujah. I should make myself available. Hallelujah. You know, I, she's just pondering, what does it require from me? I'm your servant. Amen. I'm your. That's what later we see that. He talks about the process. If you want to bring Jesus to your place, to your place of work, to your community, to your college, God needs some Marys. God needs some Marys. Maria is a generic name that I'm using here for men and women. Yes, you and I one. Someone who is serious about the things of God and say, God, I am willing. I am here for you, Lord. I am here. I don't know how many of you had the opportunity to listen to the morning uh, prayer line message today. How many of you heard it today? A few people. I'm just waiting for a day when that crosses 50. We have 130 families here. We have 30 people, 30, 35 people. Others, I know you may be working early morning, but even if you're going to work, turn it on. Listen. That's the power of a church. It's a powerhouse. It's one thought in the morning. Listen to today's message. Today's message. It's in Malayalam, so you can ask somebody else to translate it for you. It's time. The world needs to see a peculiar people. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. The world needs to see peculiar people. The world needs to see these are Christians. These are followers of Christ. People got angry. Jesus did not get angry. People tried to blame him. He didn't blame other people. He simply accepted it. He has given it to, to God who, who judges it properly. Righteous judge. Into his care, he committed everything. Our job is when somebody says something, you say two things back to him. One person strike you on one cheek, you strike both of his cheek. That's what's happening in churches. That's what's happening in places of work. You're no different than the other people. But give it over to you. You know, there's a merit in you suffer doing right. There's something special about it. That's where your testimony becomes very clear. She's a Christian. That's a church that I want to belong to. Who wants to come to a church where people fight? We want to come to a church where people give up for the sake of the glory of God. Because God's glory is our aim. Mary's only aim is the glory of God. Mary's only aim is God's glory. Lord, if that is your glory, here I am. It doesn't matter to me. Here I surrender myself to you. Close your eyes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Look at the Lord at your